For more than 80 years, or more than 700,000 hours, this Massachusetts company has been in the business of time. Harvard, BU, Norwood, New York City, Wrigley Field, even Disney World all have clocks made by Electric Time Company in Medfield. We're pretty much the largest manufacturer in the world of tower clocks. Every hour and minute spent here ensures you run on time out here. In the factory, employees craft and cut iconic clocks. We've pretty much applied modern manufacturing abilities to an old world product. Interesting. Yeah, I've always been interested in clocks and gearing and all that. Frank Taylor makes intricate clock parts using a water jet, which slices through metal at 55,000 pounds per square inch. How long did it take you to finally, you know, get good at doing this? Uh, I'd like to say a couple months, but I feel like it probably took a little bit longer if you ask my boss. <laughs> the water jet can cut dozens of parts every few hours. Every clock needs at least two hands, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. The clocks, some modern, some more traditional, are sent all over the world. This one, when finished, it's heading to a mall in South Korea. It's not uncommon for employees to see their work abroad. Yeah, we kind of tend to point that out. Um, I do that with my family all the time. <laughs> um, they're kind of sick of hearing it at this point. <laughs> Most employees here have been with the company for 10 and in some cases 20 years. James Gongoleski started just five months ago. He used to work at a major car company for 23 years, a job that always had him up against a clock. I thought it kind of funny that for years I'm trying to beat that clock and, and here I am making them. One takeaway from working in the time business, never be late. Oh no, you can't show up late for a company that builds clocks. That's a no-no. 